In my first years of madrasa, I absolutely hated it. Why? We got pegs on our ears. We got um, caned to the point where sometimes I'd have a hole in my Quran because the teacher lost it so much. It was a horrible experience in the first few years. And you'd often question, like, why are you teaching? You shouldn't be here. But we didn't have a choice, so we persevered through it. And that was our experience of madrasa in South Africa. Having said that, that was the early years as we continued on through madrasa, got older, um, we actually realized how much we were learning being there every day and of what value that was. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Umar Kofil Matthews. I am the principal of the Academy of Knowledge Madrasa. I have been for the past 15 years. I teach Islamic studies at the high school of the madrasa. I am a mother of four, grandmother of two, and I've wanted to be a teacher ever since I can remember. <laughs> I did veer off a little bit into psychology for a very brief moment and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought me back to teaching. Um, I'm exceptionally passionate about teaching. It's something I've always loved and I think it was my first instance with my very first kindergarten teacher in South Africa. She was absolutely amazing and up until today I still emulate some of her practices. The madrasa itself is something that um, other than my family I live for it and I think that's what drives me every single day. My passion for teaching, my passion for inspiring, for motivating, and for developing our youth um, is something I'm very passionate about. And that makes me get up every single day and look forward to my day. The, the, the most important thing that I get from the madrasa and that I encourage others to get from it is that it is a sadaqa jariya for us. To be able to gain knowledge from the scholars that we have gained knowledge from and then be able to pass that on to our children um, and encourage them to see the beauty of Islam is something that is part of our akhirah. And I think far too many times we get caught up in the dunya. Um, so that drives me. It drives me that every week when I get together with the school, with, when I get together with the teachers, the students, um, and the parents even, it, it's a reminder of why we were, why we're actually here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put us on this dunya to worship him and to spread the deen. And if we're not doing that, then we're failing ourselves and we're failing our ummah. Another note that is really important to me is that, and I guess it's a personal note because my children have always been enrolled in an Islamic school, is that madrasa is not an Islamic school. Islamic schools have a focus that's very different to madrasa. Islamic schools have become, for some it's become a business, for others it's become a secular institution that is run by the government, even though it's private, and they've got norms that they have to fulfill. And Islam becomes a byproduct of what they do. And having had my own children in an Islamic school and realizing how Islam is a byproduct of their learning Monday to Friday, it made me realize that it wasn't enough. Their focus was not Islam. Whereas at Madrasa, they come in on a Saturday and the whole day is about being Muslim. The whole day is about learning Islam. The whole day is about interacting as a Muslim, learning about Islam, focused on Allah, focused on the Quran, focused on the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. My children learned more at Madrasa that they, than they did at all of their years at an Islamic school. Um, and that again reiterated to me that they were fortunate to go to an Islamic school. How many of the children are not? don't have the opportunity to be enrolled in an Islamic school, either because it's out of area or because it's too costly. Madrasa gives them the alternative, but it's not even an alternative because I, I believe it's something far greater. When they step into the madrasa on a Saturday morning or indeed on a Friday evening, everything about them being there is about Islam. They don't have to think about English. They don't have to think about maths. They don't have to think about... Oh, they think about art a lot, actually, because we do a lot of craft. But they don't need to think about anything other than being Muslim, and that's what I love. I love that the, the main focus of them being there is about being Muslim. So many of our children in Australia today have... Uh, identity crisis is a little bit far to go. I, I tend to use that term a little bit loosely, but it worries me. Um, but they do. They don't quite know where they belong. They don't quite know, am I Australian, am I Muslim, am I, am I Lebanese, am I Palestinian, what am I really? Madrasa allows them to realize that they're Muslim. 
first. And that's the most important thing, to reiterate that, that sense of belonging, that sense of being a part of something. And Madrasa gives us a chance to focus on that to focus on nothing other than being Muslim. Our encouragement of our students is to see that eventually it's about making choices for themselves. We can teach them the Quran, we can teach them the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. we can teach them hadith, we can teach them how to pray and how to fast, but we can only ever encourage them to make good choices. It's pointless learning all of this from us every single week and you're still not making good choices. So to be able to get to a point where they start making choices for themselves rather than being forced by parents or being pushed by us as teachers, it's a highlight for us. So now when parents come to me and they'll often say, oh, you know, they're struggling five days a week and coming in on a Saturday morning and you guys start at 8.30, um, you know, I, I'm really struggling to get them here and... Soccer and netball are two of my biggest enemies when it comes to Saturday <laughs> Madrasa because there's always that option. My son wants to play soccer. I can't get him to give up soccer. So as a parent, you can either give them the choice to choose between soccer and Madrasa. I can almost guarantee what they'll choose. Or you can say to them, look, you have to do Madrasa and we'll find an alternative for sport. The tricky part with that is helping them see that forcing the child is not something that I'm encouraging, um, but coaxing them is a maybe nicer way of putting it. So it's important that parents just take the step. If that's what they really want for their children and they, they understand the importance of them learning, a simple phone call, Facebook search, website search, you know, they'll find it there. They'll, there's so much information for, for people to be able to find us. الآن الآن فخير الوقت الآن يحين بادر واستبق الخير ستسعد ثاكاقين سمت أسماءنا نمضي وتبقى هنا أعمارنا أعمالنا وبها سمت أسماءنا نمضي وتبقى هنا